Here are three things I will never do if I want a foundation to last. I've seen these mistakes quickly ruin builds and the crazy part is they're completely avoidable when you know what to look for. First, I never skip soil testing. You can't tell what's under the surface just by looking. The wrong soil can expand, shrink or wash out after heavy rain. Spending three to five hundred dollars on a geotechnical test tells me exactly how much weight the soil can handle and what type of foundation it needs. Second. I don't hire a foundation crew just because they gave me the lowest price. Cheap beats can turn into expensive nightmares. Wrong concrete mix, skipped rebar spacing or pouring without enough curing time. Those mistakes get buried in the slab and show up later with repair bills of fifteen to twenty-five thousand dollars. Third, I never ignore drainage. Even the perfect foundation won't survive years of standing water. I make sure the lot is graded, add French drains where needed and set gutters to move water away from the slab. Bonus tip number one. I always handle pest control at the foundation stage. Treating the soil before the pour costs almost nothing compared to dealing with termites later. Bonus tip number two. I install a pressure gauge during the pre-pour plumbing test. It instantly shows if there's a lake before concrete logs it in. Catching just these five things before I pour has saved me and my clients anywhere from five to twenty thousand dollars in repairs. And we'll send you our three-step layout guide. Direct message me the word foundation and I'll send you my how to build a foundation guide, including the vendor questions I ask my quality check steps and the budget template I use before I break ground.